Today, I am in Dumaguete. So I've had a crazy day. If you didn't see my last video, uh, there was a very bad situation with my driver who took me from Bacola to Dumaguete. And he is now with the police. You can watch my video to get the full story. But today, I am checking into my new Airbnb. The Airbnb I scheduled was not what I wanted. So I'm checking into a new one here. I know I realize I am very fortunate and blessed to be able to do this. But yeah, come with me as I show you Dumaguete for the first time. Well, we got some action going on. That was crazy. I don't know what's going on. I know Monday's a public holiday for an election. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get in. It should be here. Okay, guys. Well, I am very, 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 very happy about this change. So, if you didn't watch my other video, basically I booked an Airbnb. It was like $90 for four nights. And I am not a shoestring budget backpacker. I don't really have a small budget. So I've done this before in other countries where if just the place isn't going to make me comfortable, I switch. So I ended up switching to this place. This one is $200 flat for four nights. So you can work out the math there. That's something around $40, $50 a night, something like that. But take a look, take a look here. Absolutely beautiful, big space. You can see we have the bed here. Most importantly for me, workstation here with a work desk. Looks like they even have uh, pillows here if you if you need some height. A uh, nice couch here. Let's test the couch out. Oh, I really should have just booked this one before. I, I almost booked this, but then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do the other one. But I had a crazy day today if you didn't watch the other video. <sighs> just absolutely crazy day. So I'm like, I'm going to just treat myself to this. I ended up not having to pay the taxi driver because he's now at the police station. You should watch the other video. Um, yeah, so this is my first day in Dumaguete, but you can see nice big bed here. Let's test the bed out, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, so comfortable. Okay, I'm happy with this. I paid up a bit and I lost $90 on the other Airbnb, but you know what? Everything else in the Philippines is cheap. And I'm happy to do this because I'm a fan of treating yourself. I know I'm very blessed to be able to do that. I get it. I get it. Nice big um, kitchen here. And most importantly, I believe this one has hot water and a walk-in shower, which the other place did not. So again, very, very grateful to be at this new Airbnb. And there, apparently there is some road noise and I don't think it's going to get dark at night. But you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. This is what we're at. This is where we are. And let's go explore Dumaguete for the first time, kind of second time. I just went out for the other video and had a drink. I'm gonna have another drink because it's just one of those, it's beer o'clock here. I do need to get some food. Let's go walk down to the pier, have a few beverages, have a meal, and let's go guys. All right, first time in Dumaguete, so. When I inevitably go to Sikior, I guess I'm gonna have to get the fast craft here. All right, well, here's the famous Dumaguete sign. Looks like people are taking photos here. And a bunch of people hanging out, also taking photos of the beautiful sunset here. Somewhere over there is either Cebu or Sikior. I don't know exactly where, maybe that's Sikior. I don't exactly know. It's a beautiful night here. It is, uh, I think, Saturday, so it should be some good People, uh, hello. Should be a lot going on here. I see some beautiful lights. Beautiful sky, I gotta say. Absolutely beautiful sky. So this is a uh, Rizal Boulevard, I believe, is what it's called. It's like the boardwalk here in Dumaguete, the main center. What's up, brother? How are you? You sold me sunglasses, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Have a good night, man. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. It's like a bunch of souvenirs for sale. Octopi wallets all of that this looks very cool very cool place so. 
Got balutes. Balutes. Let's get a bottle of water. Hello, ma'am. A uh, small bottle of water? Yes. One cold? Uh, one, yeah. Balutes. Oh. You want to? Not for me. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if I can do it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe one day. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, bye. Balut is a very intense food item here in the Philippines that is, God, I don't know, it's like a duck embryo or something like that. Yeah. Oh, look at this beautiful beach. Or boardwalk, I should say. 2023. Heck of an, a way to kind of close out 2023 for me here in the good old Philippines. <sighs> It'll all work out. This will definitely lift the spirits, guys. So it looks like there's a lot going on here. I do want to see what's going on. It's sort of like a shipwreck or something. I also see people doing some sort of dancing or calisthenics or something like that over there. You know, I know this is a very popular area from other YouTubers that I've seen come here. So I am excited to be here. It's too bad it's not on a higher note, but such is life sometimes, guys. Life is not linear. Tests and trials are part of life. And this is something that I'm going through right now. But fortunately, I'm here, I'm alive, and hopefully we can get it squared away. But yeah, anyway, back to the video. There is a very big expat community here in Dumaguete. As I stated at the start of the video, this is a place where many people come to live, find a Filipino wife, not joking. Uh, but I'm here because I want to be here. Not for any other reason. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. See the moon? It is a full moon, I kid you not. Believe it or not, whatever you believe in, but it is literally a full moon and I've had a crazy day. So, I trust the signs. It's like an area here for kids to play, hang out. You can see the uh, red sky in the background. Look how beautiful this is, hold on. Look at this, I'm gonna stop walking. GoPro is not good in low light, so, wow. People are playing volleyball. The parking area down there. It's a martial art, like uh, Tai Chi. Yeah, it looks like Tai Chi to me. They might be doing Tai Chi. Or just general calisthenics. Yeah, that might be Tai Chi, let me know. Oh, yoga, it's probably yoga. Okay, they're probably doing yoga. Yeah, yeah, they're probably doing yoga. That's what it is. We have a bunch of food stalls here. This is really nice, guys. Gray's Restaurant and Bar. Maybe that's the play. Pork barbecue sticks and adobo rice. Um, and uh, just an iced tea. If I get a drink, I'll get it somewhere else because I need to get some food in me, but yeah, this is where we are. Iced tea is good. We got two pork skewers. There's definitely a serving for two people, but I do not care. Oh my god. Perfectly grilled. This is so good. I'm gonna enjoy this. Well, check out the rest of the boulevard here. So maybe with the lights over here we can uh, see some more stuff. Then I'm probably tapped out for tonight. Maybe go get a beer. Maybe take you with me. Lots of uh, tree food here. Heck of a lot of expats, way more compared to Iloilo and uh, Bacala. I saw like four between Iloilo and Bacala, but apparently there's an expat community in both those places. Tell me, what should I do in Dumaguete? What is the thing? In Valencia, there's a market. Probably won't make it there, but um, yeah, otherwise, kind of just wanted to be here, so. Nope, 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 the Kuyas are definitely doing martial arts. As you can see here, definitely not yoga. Let's see what's over here. Huh. Good to do a martial art, right? Seems like lots of Inasol. Gravity float with every cup. That sounds interesting. But yeah, it looks like a bunch of restaurants and I think people are over here getting massaged and eating. 
so interesting experience all right let's see if this uh bar i was at earlier has any spots available really nice people who work there i said i'd come back if there are any spots available so we'll see if we'll see if there's anything there have a beer and the video here right now but continue it in the morning so let's see here's the bar it's called bogart's see if there's any spots uh, same people sitting out there let's see Eight peso San Miguel's here at uh, Bogart's. So let's check. Hello, well, I am back. I will uh, I'll have a beer, I'll have a San Miguel, please. Yes. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to film because music. Cheers. Oh, sir, you take me to the uh, public market? Public market? Yeah. Okay. What Okay, for you? Alright, thank, thank you, sir. We're at the public market, guys. So, next day here, we'll see what's, what we can get into at the public market. Gotta take my sunnies off. And, uh, yeah, check it out. Get a haircut here. Just got my haircut in Hilo. Hello, Hello, how are you? Good? Like electronics and stuff. Other sorts of, like, uh, souvenirs. This might come in handy as a wallet. Uh, you got a hat over here, bags. Looks like you also have some sandals. All sorts of bags here. I think on the outside edge are flowers. And further stuff in here. Hello, how are you? Some candy here. Hello, how are you? Good? Okay. Looks like you have some like vlogging more like electronics and stuff and street food around here as well let's see what's on the other edge yeah so some of you guys know that i don't really buy anything but i am fascinated by these markets hello because they're just fun here in southeast asia looks like the inside isn't really hello it looks like the inside isn't really uh, much going on there. Well, we've got like knives, some blades, or I don't know what these are. It looks like blades. Wow, these are wild. Hello. What are these? Blades? Knives? Yes. Oh my gosh, these are big knives. Yeah. What, for grass? Or yes. For grass, okay. Wow, very nice. All right, well, thank you. Have a good day. It's like, what could those be used for? Probably a lot of things. Everything you could need here. Lighters, souvenirs, wallets, bags, rice by the kilo. As you can see here, different types. Of course, we got the uh, bakeries, which you can find just about everywhere. Hello, man. How are you? Good. I think over here is a wet market. I can smell it. Just walking a little bit here. And yeah. Checking out Kazan Park as in Quezon City in Manila. See what's over here. There's also like a cathedral over here, some other things. We're in right in downtown Dumaguete. There's another part of Dumaguete I will be exploring called North Point, which apparently is very nice. Closer seaside. It's about uh, two kilometers above here. But yeah, so if you didn't watch the video before, just know that the whole taxi situation got straightened out. Yeah, if you're interested in that, because I know this video started off with that, you can go check that out and see how it all worked out. Sunday in uh, Dumaguete. And yeah, just kind of enjoying the day here, finally. Craziest start to a video that I've ever had on this channel, that is for sure. Crazier than when I got locked in a bathroom in Boracay. But yeah, what a wild start here. Yeah, so we've got this place, this is like a public meeting spot where people are hanging out. Classic Jollibee. What's a good restaurant in Dumaguete, guys? Tell me, I need to go eat something. Let me know in the comment section. I'd be interested in hearing. Let's see what this is. City of Dumaguete, official seal. So here is the official seal of the city of Dumaguete. Here it is, guys. Okay. I don't know what 
what that says. Libertad. I don't know what that says. Maria Clara. Maybe an important figure here in Dumaguete. Let's see if there's something else here. On the 26th day of April, 1945, Dumaguete was liberated by a composite force of Filipino guerrillas and units of the 164th Regiment, Americal Division, 8th Army, United States of America. Okay. Philippines and America are longtime allies and good buddies to this day. Let's see what else is going on here, guys. Quiet Sunday. Now, it is a public holiday here in the Philippines. Tomorrow is Election Day, and then Wednesday is All Saints Day. So, something to be aware of. But, yeah, there's a liquor ban today, or a curfew or something. And I think also next week, so probably not a bad thing. But, yeah, you don't have to have alcohol every day. So, I don't know if you can see that sign, but it says Ben and Ben in Dumaguete. So I was able to see Ben and Ben in uh, BGC for FIBA in Manila all the way back in, uh, God, that would have been April or May of this year. It is now end of October here. But Ben and Ben's good, man. It's the most popular band in the Philippines, so I'm sure many people are happy about Ben and Ben coming to uh, do McGinney. What's up, man? Got my glasses. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Have a good day. Keep seeing that guy everywhere. He sold me these uh, sunglasses. So, yeah, I think we've got a uh, church over here. I don't know about filming in this area, but maybe it is Sunday, so I want to be careful. But, okay, it looks like a church service is going on here. Yeah, I'm not going to go over there and film because I don't think that would be very polite or respectful. This is what's going on. A public holiday here in uh, Philippines. Hello, man. Hello. All sorts of candles here. The sale smells really good. You can smell the candles burning. And uh, okay, I'll be very quiet here. Ma'am, so you so you buy a candle, so I can buy a candle. I can buy a candle and then light it? Yeah. Okay, how much for one candle? One peso. Okay, one peso only. Okay, here's five pesos for you. Five pesos only. Oh, one, one is fine. Don't worry. Yeah, one. It's fine. One. Yeah, yeah. That's for you. Thank you. And then uh, I can light it over there? Yeah. Okay, thank you. all the candles here burning and this is the thing I wanted to see this is what the outside of it looks like and let's see if there's something I can read over here Campanero de Dumaguete Campanero de Dumaguete was built upon one of the four original massive watchtowers that parish priest Don Jose Manuel Fernandez de Septim built in the 1760s, wow, to discourage Moros, I don't know what that is, from pillaging the town. The two layers, which are now known as the Bell Tower or the Campanero, were added during the administration of Fray Juan Felix de la Encarcion in 1864. 18 67. Interesting piece of history there, guys. I do have to tell you, I love the landscape of Dumaguete. So over here, you have mountainscapes. You have the mountains of Dumaguete, which is like close to Valencia. And over here is the ocean. It's the water close to uh, Siquior and Cebu. What's up? How are you? So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful area here in terms of the nature. And there's a lot of wildlife because there's a lot of nature uh, activities that you can do, like tons of hikes. Um, there's also a lot of marine life that you can see. I forget the exact name. My host, my Airbnb host, who is very nice, was telling me that there's like a really nice marine sanctuary off of Silliman University. I would like to see that before I leave. 
I might end up spending some more time in Dumaguete because I want to give it a proper shot. I also think there's quite a bit to uh, film here. But since I just had a crazy start to this Dumaguete thing, um, maybe I'll stay a little bit more. Go to Sigior, come back to Dumaguete. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Oh, part of me wishes I could just take a dip down right in there, but that would not be good. Oh. These uh, fishing boats here coming by. And uh, yeah, the water does look beautiful, I have to say. Wow. I don't know if that's Sigior or if that's Sigior. I'm not, or if that's still Dumaguete, I'm not sure. But Sigior and Cebu is around here. Not too far. Much quieter Sunday afternoon than it is on uh, Saturday evening. That is for sure. Looks like prepping for some type of music concert. Venue of some sorts. All right, well, I think I will come in here and eat at Casablanca. Hello, I'll have uh, one. I'll sit out here. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. All right, nice seaside seat here at uh, Casablanca. What's up, brother? How are you? All right, I'm probably terribly sunburned, but I actually don't wear sunscreen. Yeah, so this is part of it. Let's see what's on the menu here. They have a burger here called Lady Gaga. It's a hot and spicy beef patty. Oh, I might have to go with that. Or pork tocino, because I love, I love tocino. It's my favorite Filipino food. Looks like they have some uh, German beer. Is it German beer? Wine and Stopper? Yeah, that might be it, but yeah. Probably not the best idea. I also think, like I said, there's an alcohol ban. Yeah, I gotta go with the Lady Gaga. I got some sort of German apple juice. It's like, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. It starts with an A-S. Yeah, so. And a Lady Gaga burger, so. Although I'm hot, a hot and spicy burger, I, I gotta have it. Here we are. Okay hey guys, we've got some complimentary bread. Mm. You can never go wrong with complimentary bread. I'm curious to see what the dip is. Is it mayonnaise? No, I didn't think so. That'd be weird, right? Let's try what the dip is. Oh, oh, that is so good. It's like garlic. Oh man. Oh man. Like an aioli, I believe. Whatever it is, it tastes so good. They did not have the uh, German apple juice, so what they did was they made a fresh one. And it looks like it's sparkling. I'm gonna try that. Let's give this a shot. Huh? It's definitely fresh, just got a bunch of pulp. It's good. Yum. Okay guys, so here's what we're working with here. A really healthy burger there and I think this is the spicy sauce We've got fries let's do a fry check mm -hmm. so let's eat this might be a little messy Really thick, juicy burger. The sauce is not too spicy, but I'm really impressed by the size of the burger. It's like really thick. The bun is amazing. 
Good meal. I'm good. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Well, that cheeseburger was absolutely incredible. And the meal only cost about $10 for the burger and the apple cider thing. So, really nice price. Halloween party, 31st. What is that Bogarts? I might end up going there. That might be fun. They were telling me that last night when I was having a beer there. So I might go to the Halloween party. We'll see. All right, well, I think it's about 4.30 or so uh, now. I think what I'll do is go take a walk through Silliman University. Silliman University. So this is basically, I'm staying right around the corner there. And I'm basically on the campus here. Well, that's an elementary school. <laughs> so I got to get the maps up, make sure I'm in the right spot. But I got to tell you, it's nice and peaceful here right now. I do think because it's a public holiday. Maybe it's Sunday. I don't know. But it is eerily quiet. Oh, College of Admissions. Okay. Medical school, gymnasium, auditorium. You know, I recently went to Dillyman University in Kazan. And that was really nice. I'll be interested to see kind of what the differences are here. Congratulations to new social workers. Huh, very important job. So these are the new social workers. Congratulations. First takers. Okay, I don't know what that means. We got some bridge here connecting the road. I feel like you don't need it though. By the way, if you want to get a grab here in uh, Dumaguete, it's all trikes. Uh, grabs are actually trikes, which you can see right here. So I haven't, I don't have Joyride downloaded, so I'm sure you can also get a bike, but literally you cannot get a grab car. Everything is trikes. At least that's what it was last night. I'm assuming that's how it is all the time. Okay, Mariano Lina Lao Activity Center. Oh, the technology laboratory. Interesting. Okay, so this is interesting because, well, first of all, let's just take a look at this art here. Huh. Correct me if I'm wrong, but those look like aliens or ghosts. I don't know what's, what's up here, but it looks really cool. Anyway, I don't know what's going on with that, but I like it. Wow, oh, this is really nice, interesting artwork here. I look at the map and I see that there's a Silliman University Elementary School, which we saw over there. And there's a Silliman University High School. Now I've been to a lot of colleges in the US because I worked in higher education. Conferences, you know, going to conferences and just going all over different universities. We'll wait for the bike to go by. I have, uh, God, it's a loud bike. I've never seen a high school and an elementary school on a university campus. Yeah. Stay real. I like it. Stay real, guys. Stay real. Hey, bro. Uh, campus? Is the campus that way? Yeah. Okay. Like Through the gate. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks, man. I'm trying to find the campus. I'm kind of walking in a loop, but he got me covered here. Let's check out the campus. We got here. It's a really nice night. I got to tell you, it's been been super hot like all day right now the temperature is cooled feels very good I'm assuming these are dorms campus dorms so we got some hoops going on is the national sport here in the Philippines basketball well basically the unofficial national sport can we say so we got some two on two hi guys oh. man I love it here so far this epic adventure has taken me out of BGC to Iloilo, Bacolod, now here in Dumaguete. I've got so many more places to discover here in the Philippines. Uh, I'm getting excited, guys. It looks like boarding house, maybe? Yeah, boarding house, which can be really cheap, I think I've heard. Boarding house is like very, very cheap. I mean, you're sharing a room with other people, but that's college life, you know? 
Tito's coffee and milk. Okay, looks good. I gotta say, I gotta say, it looks good. Casual uh, chicken here, just walking around. Got some chickens. <laughs> Roosters, I should say, actually. Roosters. Hello. Damn, that's a big guy. Hi, puppy. Oh, cute dog. <laughs> I wonder if the rooster and the dog are friends. I'm sure they are. Otherwise, the dog would eat it straight up. I always love the green landscape of a university. That's how it is in many American universities as well. That's how it was in the one in Kazan, in uh, Diliman. University of the Philippines was like that as well. Amigo sa hijo. Assuming Amigo is friend. Looks like we got more dorms or something like this here. Or maybe like an auditorium or no, pool, swimming pool, probably for the swimming team. Amigo sa hijo. Okay. I gotta say, I love the murals around this campus. Shaw Memorial Pool. Nice. Nice. This is good times. Some tennis or badminton. I played tennis in high school, but I was terrible at it. <laughs> Actually, my best sport is soccer, but it's been many years since I've played. So, I don't think it would be pretty. Yeah, this is this is also a very beautiful campus. Guys, this is what I'm saying. Look, Suleiman University Senior High School. Maybe the grades are different in the Philippines. Like in the United States, it's K through 12. So kindergarten through 12th grade, which 12th grade is your senior year. Then you can choose to go on to university. And then within university, there are, you know, technical programs, so you can get a certificate, you have certificate programs, associate's degrees, which is two years, bachelor's degrees, which is four years, then you have the master's degree, which is now a graduate school. And then within graduate school, you can get a master's degree or you can get your PhD. And yeah, I'm wondering if it's the same here. I wanted to go this way because I think there's a backpacker hostel or something over here I wanted to check out, but I'm thinking the road is blocked, right? Yeah, there's no way I can get through this. A lot. There's a jolly bee because I'm getting more steps in today, guys. Okay. It's not a bad thing. Okay, so we're deeper into the university here. Yeah, it looks like Occidental Hall. That's what that says. And I think church is just getting out. So I do want to be respectful here. But, yeah. It's a really nice looking church. From my perspe perspective. Silliman University Alumni Council of North America Student Center. It's like a really nice sort of like outdoor auditorium. That is a crazy looking Jollibee. I've never seen one that has like in architecture like that. The building looks like really cool, like ancient, sort of like a Spanish architecture, I would say. If I'm guessing. Yeah, it has those like wide arches. Very cool. It's like maybe a sorority, a fraternity sorority. Upsilon Phi Sigma. So I do not know what's going on here, but it looks like some sort of carnival display or something like this? I don't know. It reminds me of a carnival. Sulbang Bintoy. Interesting. And I have to tell you, I wasn't sure what to expect, but this park looks really sick. Wow. I think there's also like a backpacker hostel up there that has like a rooftop bar, but today's a no alcohol day because I think uh, well, just I think generally for me, but I also think there's a ban here on this day. Baglasan Festival. Okay, I mean, kind of a weird lighting going on here with the clouds, but this is a really cool space. I believe it says Negros Oriental. 
which is what this part of the Philippines is. There's also Negros Occidental, which is Bacolod. Yeah, I think the hostel is up that way somewhere. I don't think I'm going to go over there because not really much for me here, there at this point, but I do want to see this down here, so very cool. And over there it says Government of Oriental Negros on that building above In God We Trust, which is also on the dollar bill, or the dollar, or any sort of dollar bill in the United States, interestingly enough. So, with that, I think I will leave you right here. Thank you so much for being here. It was a wild start to my first day here in Dumaguete, but if you stuck around to the end of this video, thank you so much. Also, you might as well hit subscribe, like, and share. Also drop a comment if, you, if you're still here. Would really appreciate it. Anyway, stay tuned for more amazing content here in the Philippines. And I will certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.